Alrighty guys, you know who it is, Ty the Gamer. I'm back with another video. So today we're gonna try this Dreamsicle milk here. Now, I like Dreamsicles, they're pretty good. I've um, got this a quick trip. From cows not treated with RBST, okay? This is Quick Chip Incorporated, uh, Wisconsin, so on and so forth. Hmm. So this has 430 calories in it. Total fat, 16 grams. Trans fat, 10 grams. Cholesterol, 65 milligrams. Sodium, 240. Carbohydrates, 57 no daily fiber um daily for total sugar here is 52 grams this is like i feel like this is kind of a unhealthy type of thing even though milk is supposed to be in the classifications of healthy in some ways protein 15 grams you got vitamin d only six milligrams how can you consider this a milk i have no clue um but calcium is pretty darn high so there you go 537 milligrams no iron potassium is 683 milligrams keep refrigerated and shake well um, okay okay so let's give it a try here let's open it up and give it a try Not bad. It really does taste like a dream sickle. Hmm. Yeah, this is really good. Natural and artificial flavoring. This is a limited edition, by the way. So, I would recommend it. Uh, it tastes like a dream sickle. It tastes just like ice cream, and that's pretty darn good. Got the Quick Trip logo there. Everything in between there. Natural type. Touch the milk. He's right. So on and so forth with his. It's a Midwest family-owned company. And that's, of course, you know, Quick Trip in itself. So, yeah, would I recommend this? It's a limited edition. I mean, if you live next to a Quick Trip, um, go for it. But you got to be from the Midwest to try something like this. So, Midwest always has something different to offer to them. So does the South and everything. They're all just like all over the place. So it's it's pretty worth it. I mean, it's cheap. It's good, but the calories are high. But and I know a reason why I'm making this video quite fast is because I'm using these lights here on my car and like I don't want the battery dying. Sometimes these things overheat, and it's not very good. They're not meant to be on for a long period of time. So, it's worth it. Recommend it. It's good. Give it like a 9 out of 10. It's pretty darn delicious. And the reason why I can't recommend it too much is because it's kind of a Midwest type of thing. It's good. I would recommend it 100% if you're from the Midwest, but if you're not not worth it so yeah don't forget to subscribe leave a comment tell me what you think and i will see you guys in the next video